My name is Taff Wallace. I'm a bus operator for Capital Entertainment Services. Well, I've been a bus driver now for about 40 years. I like meeting people. I like to be on activity and this type of thing. Whenever there's something going on, always a bus is there, which I enjoy. Well, idling is bad for three things, the bus, the environment, and the general health of the public. Idling has to refer to the fact that the engine is on, the vehicle is stationary, but the engine is running. Typically this occurs uh, to uh, allow uh, a cooling or heating unit in a specific vehicle to operate effectively. Uh, however, it does create issues insofar as the environment, especially in an urbanized area. The law is pursuant to motor coaches, as well as truck carriers, as well as taxi cab operators. That includes uh, district vehicles, as well as uh, commercial vehicles as well. The standard ticket that is issued is $500. Depending on the agency that's issuing the ticket, that ticket can actually double. The current law is three minutes. There is an exemption to the law of five minutes if it's below 32 degrees Fahrenheit or below freezing. We have too many buses island. It creates bad ozone in the air and causes a lot of smog and pollution. And all of these pollutants can aggravate heart problems, cause respiratory problems, the car manufacturers improving the cars, but also federal regulation. Um, newer cars emit less than older cars. But still, there's always going to be emissions if you're idling, and it's an easy fix to just turn it off. Bus idling is a, is a waste of resources, essentially. When buses are sitting around, they're running their engines, um, they're, they're losing fuel, they're polluting the atmosphere. But in addition to that, it's, it's just a waste of resources. So drivers should shut the engines off after their passengers have, have disembarked. The solution to idling is to park the bus and turn the engine off. Cut your engine off. Just shut off the engine. As a matter of fact, in our company, we don't even go by the watch. We don't say three minutes, we just say, cut it off. D.C. is a town for everybody to come to to have a good time and be on all the action nationally. The driver recognition program is something that was established as a part of a overarching effort for developing an idle reduction campaign for the district. We partnered with Destination DC to identify awards and prizes when a driver, motor coach operator, or truck carrier was recognized for abiding by the law that we would distribute those awards accordingly. We understand from a motor coach operator and a truck operator coming to an urbanized area that's difficult to buy by the law. So instead of just always enforcing and levying tickets on these uh, operators, we wanted to come with the softer side and recognize the driver for doing the right thing. We are at the nation's capital and we take tours uh, around the Washington area, showing people the monuments and the historical sites. So I get a chance to meet different people and do different things every day. It's never the same.